Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide and we are on April 7th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Starting out here, always at the sun, last 48 hours looking at 304 angstroms where we can see the plasma filaments, looking incoming imagery. As we do have some activity, you can see there on the right hand side, coming up on the northern region of the sun, looking at outgoing images here, still pretty quiet sun all around. But watching a little bit of activity here on the northwestern limb coming in, plasma, and as well a little bit of shake there from calibration of SDO, looking at that region and another light here. A little bit of a plasma tornado forming. Quite a bit of energy though. We are sitting at a KP5 though, as we were expecting the coronal hole wind stream. And it is smacking us now. And we're not really looking at any earth facing activity sunspots or coronal holes definitely going to be watching as the sun comes around here see if we have an active backside but yeah looking here at the kp index elevated level five today and into tonight looking at the real-time solar wind we're sitting at 486 kilometers per second but it definitely spiked up to 500 and what, 19 kilometers per second, it looks like was the highest peak. But it's the fine angle flip that I'm a little bit worried about. Got a lot of strange things happening in our atmosphere. Looking here at our annual spiral for the next five days forecast of space weather. And you can see there's not much. But through the day today, and tomorrow, you can see just the tail end of that coronal hole wind stream, which we are feeling the effects now. And you can see it in the Schumann residence as we are sitting at a power of 50 right now. That is a nice, pleasant spike. So an amplitude power of 50 and a quality of 18. Now, earthquakes, let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours across Canada as well as we do. We reporting here a 2.2 in La Romaine, Quebec City, 18 kilometer depth. And as well throughout March, Bird Cove, Newfoundland, March 17th, that was reported. This is all the last 30 days for earthquakes. As well here, March 14th, Ontario. As well, Northern Ontario, Sioux Lookout, 2.1. And then we get to Alberta here, and little did I know that there was an earthquake, a 3.0 in Old Alberta, back on, or sorry, yeah, back on March, March 13th. And that's just north of me. And as well, a 3.2 was reported here in Grand Cache, Grand Prairie, Alberta. One kilometer depth as well a couple other rumbles here throughout the month of march march 21st march 11th so what's going on up into the rockies and out into the juan de fuca plate this is a pretty active 
Canadian earthquake map, and there's been quite a few recently, and you put it together with the US map, and you gotta wonder, what is shifting? I mean, we had 30,000 earthquakes in Iceland, and then all of a sudden, volcanoes are erupting. Look here, the last 30 days for earthquakes across the United States and Alaska, and across the world for that matter. We're looking at 6,000 earthquakes just in the United States. Now, mind you, that is every magnitude. 1.0 and greater. 6,000, just under 6,000 earthquakes the last 30 days. And looking at the last 30 days across the planet, we are literally bursting at the seams. It seems, it seems we are bursting at the seams. Let's have, let's get to our earthquake map here. This is the last 24 hours reported Walton through USGS. 4.6 there, band of C, 170 kilometer depth just recently. 4.2 reported here in Indonesia, Simbolgola, Simbolga. And as well, 4.2 here in Japan, 10 kilometer depth. Largest earthquake to report the last 24 hours, a 6.0 here in the Kermadec Islands, 10 kilometer depth. And that was early, early this morning for us, but overnight in the Kermadec, as well many aftershocks through the region. 4.6 here reported, 141 kilometer depth. Argentina, as well 4.2 here reported in Peru at a 48 kilometer depth. So quiet South America the last 24 hours. 4.5 there, Caribbean Plate, Columbia Mountain, as well 4.3 here reported. Mexico, 154 kilometer depth though that's a pretty deep earthquake for the region and then look at the states and it started early this morning with a 3.6 in uh, hometown oklahoma as well ratcliffe city 3.2 and then arizona flagstaff arizona with a 3.3 earthquake rare as well looking through trona california with a 3.6 And as well, South Dos Del Palos, California. And Calstone, California. And right up into the geysers. So very active across North American Plate. Down into San Andreas. Stanley, Idaho. A couple of shakers there. And then Virginia City, Montana. Montana, 2.5 reported. And that's just west of Yellowstone. And then here, Stonewall Gate as well. 2.7 Colorado Stonewall Gate. And then one lonely earthquake here, Juan de Fuca Plate, reported USGS off the coast of Oregon. Increased seismicity across Alaska, 4.8 there, Nikolskoy. And as well, 4.0 here in Greece at 11 kilometer depth. Two of them to report for the last 24 hours for earthquakes we're still looking at just under 250 earthquakes for the day but a lot of them have been here in the united states looking at the last seven days for earthquakes all of the white rings are the most recent and deep elevated rings are the deep the depth of the earthquakes but around the planet, it seems we're bursting at the seams. Thoughts and prayers to everybody who is affected by major earthquakes or any future earthquakes. Really keeping an eye on the Cascades and into North America right now with all this recent activity wanted to show you here on the Pacific Disaster Center the last three days of satellite imagery across the planet looking at some pretty monstrous systems and I've been talking about it for the last few videos as they've been forming huge system in the Atlantic huge system right over the United States right now that is developing through 
dropping tornadoes. Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected throughout Missouri and Alabama tonight. You will have tornado threats ensuing and continuing. Look at the Pacific Ocean. Huge low pressure systems developing, very vigorous. Look at this one developing just south of Kamchatka. Wow. So our low pressure systems are merging, which is something that I've been talking about for years. And, and if they keep doing this, then we got a big problem. You, you all seen the day after tomorrow, the movie? Well, you know what? I think that's happening. One can only speculate. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. Home base, Calgary, Alberta. Very nice spring like weather today, but then the cold north winds are going to be popping through tonight. Right across the province, drop in temperatures down at least five degrees in some areas, especially towards the foothills here. You're going to see at least maybe a centimeter or two of snow through Calgary, but mostly foothills snow. There is pretty strong high pressure ridge hanging out on the coastline there. It's going to gobble up a lot of that moisture. So that's kind of a nice break for the BC coast as well into Alaska. As these systems just keep running through Russia and then the Alaskan coastline. And then just the paths of these low pressure systems are an anomaly to my to me. They're heading from the south to north instead of you know the irregular east to west. Have we shifted? Has something shifted? Looking at some pretty nasty weather here Saturday into Sunday for most of southeastern United States and up into Ontario. Definitely going to see some extreme weather, so heads up. Southeastern United States, you're going to see some interesting weather. Overlooking the Atlantic, look at the size of that low. That thing's beast. It's gone beast mode and it's getting ready to head into Europe. And then another one is going to be forming right behind it. So what's up with our atmosphere? What's up with our jet stream? I don't know, man. But everything is merging. Look across Europe right now. Those systems that are affecting all of you guys. You've got snow, strong winds, rain, sleet. I'm sure a whole mixed bag of stuff. Even into Portugal here, that low pressure system is going to be coming in and bringing some weather through Portugal and then Central Europe could see some extreme weather with that system. Overlooking Asia and Russia, they're still seeing some pretty intense winter weather as well. I mean, just look at one, two, three, four low pressure systems all wrapped up in that big motion. Strange days indeed. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems to talk about for a five day forecast. Southeast Asia, India, no major weather systems except for this system developing through China and then up into Korea's later in the week. Could be a pretty vigorous system there. Strong convergence line, deep high pressure ridge right off the coast. And then overlooking the equator here, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and into Fiji. Watch for heavy rains, long line of moisture stretching straight across the islands there. And then as well, we've got the Tropical Cyclone 27, Tropical Cyclone Sajura who are going to join forces here and affect most likely southwestern parts of the continent. Australia, in the long range forecast, we'll see what develops here in the long range. As well, overlooking New Zealand, you're going to have days upon days of rain here as you're affected by two low pressure systems this week. So enjoy your dry day tomorrow because that will be it. Pretty intense system later in the week too. 
you could have two lows merging there as well. And then overlooking the Pacific, high pressure ridge still hanging around there, keeping things dry for Hawaii. You could have a line of moisture moving in into the long range forecast. Same with the coast of North America, dry, very, very dry. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Colombia and heavy and extreme weather towards the Argentina border with Brazil. Definitely going to see some extreme weather there. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere and just the monstrous, vigorous, low pressure systems that seem to be merging as our world seems to be bursting at the seams. So stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.